I feel like I could get an award for being the least sophisticated guy to ever use the Ricoh GR3X, but I've gotten some great photos on this. Like, I think some of the photos I've gotten on this little camera are better than some of the photos that professionals, people who are sponsored by Ricoh have gotten. I don't know, you'll, you can judge. You can judge the pictures later. Maybe I'm just biased towards them, because I just, they're really important to me. They're really precious to me. Some of some great memories have been uh, photographed on this camera, and it's always with me. So it's something I use a lot. I'll have photo samples at the end. You guys can judge me, but I'll show you my setup. So I've got the Ricoh GR3X. I've got a little thumb grip here. I've also got a wrist strap, and then I've got this Amazon basic case. I don't care about having a pretty fancy a leather case, uh, got an extra battery in here. So what I normally use with this is I, I normally have it in a thin, like microfiber glasses case. So we'll slide it in there and then back into the main case. Cause I'll usually just have it in this in my pocket and this will protect it and uh, clean it from dust. So dust from my pocket doesn't get in there and then we'll slip it into there. Uh, here's what I also use with the Ricoh GR. 3x this is the teleconverter so it has the ga2 which is uh the converter here with actual electronic connections and you can put filters and stuff on there but then up here is the gt2 1.5 times teleconverter so 1.5 times 40 is actually 60 so it has to actually crop into the image and that's why you have those electronic connections there because it will actually go into crop mode, a 50 millimeter crop mode because it's a 75 millimeter equivalent. So set 50 times 1.5 is 75, but 40 times 1.5 is actually 60. So it has to go into crop mode and it's still kind of a small compact setup. I mean, I can keep that in one pocket and keep the GR in the other pocket and I've gotten some great portraits with this setup. You can use a flash with it. It's got a hot shoe. So you can actually, since it's a leaf shutter, you can have really high sync speeds, like really high speed sync, like up to one four thousandth of a second. My favorite thing about this camera is when you go over into the playback, I don't have an SD card in here right now, but you can actually edit the images in camera. Uh, so, you can shoot raw, which I usually shoot raw plus JPEG, and the JPEG is positive film. Positive film is, is the best film simulation I've seen, not only in the GR, but in any camera. I'm filming right now on, on a Fuji camera, so I, I've used all the Fuji film simulations. I think Ricoh with positive film actually has the best film simulation. Now, if the video was good on this camera, I would use it as my primary camera all the time. But I do a lot of video on my YouTube channel, Michael Relevant, that's my main channel, and on this channel as well. And, you know, occasionally weddings and stuff like that. So I do a lot of video work. If they could make this camera work well for video, I would keep it. But I am actually selling it on eBay. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, I'm selling all the accessories and everything I have for it as well on that page. So if you're interested in that, you can you can check that out. Usually people who watch these videos about uh, Rico GRs are people who are really committed to the system, so they, they probably already have a uh, camera, but I will let you know about that. So yeah, uh, this has been one of my favorite cameras, but probably my favorite photo camera I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, I hate to sell it, but it's, I mean, it's like $800. I can't keep it if it's not something I can use for like actual work. I'm gonna be testing out a lot of Micro Four Thirds uh, cameras for this channel. Olympus, uh, some really good lenses, great portrait lenses and great just all around lenses, wildlife and all that soon on this channel. So stay tuned for that. And who knows, I'm probably gonna buy the original Ricoh GR for like $400 on eBay, the uh, GR1, and probably, uh, probably gonna get the GXR, which is an interchangeable lens. Rico camera from 2010, like 13 years ago. That one you can put Leica lenses on. It's an APS-C sensor. So if you wanted a 50 millimeter equivalent Rico GR, it's not really pocketable, but it is pretty small. So I'll probably be testing that out on this channel too. So stay tuned for that. 
Uh, also, just other old cameras. I'll probably buy a few old cameras. So, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos. I've got a lot of Rico uh, videos on this channel already. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.